guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and today, as a part of Stay Home Mom September, I wanted to start talking a little bit more about YouTube business and YouTube tips and tricks. I wanted to kind of give my opinion on a couple things to do with YouTube business and that sort of thing. And this first one is kind of one of those topics on YouTube that everyone kind of wonders, but no one really wants to talk about, but no one really knows how to pose the question because it's kind of an awkward thing to talk about. But the thing I'm going to be talking about today, because it gets brought up a lot in YouTube Mommy Meetup, this kind of people vaguely trying to figure it out and that sort of thing, is how do you make money on YouTube? And how much money can you make? So today I'm going to talk kind of in vague terms and as specific as I can and try to give you guys some pointers if you are thinking of starting a channel or if you are already a YouTube mommy that's maybe not monetized and the whole thing seems confusing, maybe this video can help you out. So first of all, there's kind of two different tracks of as far as monetization goes and it's changed a lot since I first started out YouTube and had a channel way back when with Bags for Bubbles. So originally on YouTube you had to apply to be a partner and some people like myself they sent emails you didn't even apply they just sent you an email and offered you uh, to be a part of like all videos monetized program which is what I was originally in way back in the day this no longer exists so I'm kind of grandfathered in because of that and monetization just automatically shows up on my videos because that's what was already in place when they put a lot of changes out so long about April 2012 or so, they revamped the whole partner system. And now it's kind of a good thing if you're just starting out on YouTube because all you have to do to be partnered with YouTube and put monetization on your videos is have one video on your channel. And so I just had to go through this process with Organize with Style, my new kind of home decor channel. So I thought I would use that experience to kind of help anyone out that's maybe getting started and is confused by the process. So if you don't have an AdSense account, AdSense is owned by Google as well as YouTube. So it's all underneath Google. And AdSense is the company that is in pretty much in charge of paying you, quote unquote. You're an independent contractor. So you're not an employee of Google or anything like that. And you do have to pay taxes on anything that you make at the end of the year. So you definitely want to consult a tax person about all those sorts of things. I'm not going to get into the taxes. But um, AdSense is the place where you can watch your earnings and where you get paid from. So you want to set up an AdSense account first of all. And then once you have your one video uploaded on your channel, you can connect your AdSense account to your YouTube channel and they automatically place the ads on your videos. And from there, it's really simple. You don't have to go out and find advertisers. You don't have to go out and negotiate terms. It's really quite easy and they do it all for you. The second tract is a network type of deal and I'm not currently with a network I'm partnered directly with YouTube and so I'm not going to speak a lot about that because I'm sure there's lots of people out there that if they're with, with networks they can talk about it more but basically you sign up underneath a network and instead of AdSense this network would then be in charge of placing the ads on your videos and paying you and you negotiate terms with them and all those sorts of things. So today I'm strictly talking about just getting started. If you just want to upload to YouTube and have an AdSense account and not really do anything further than that. So you want to have the AdSense account, you want to already have your YouTube account and you have to have one video uploaded on your channel to apply. Then you're going to go into the monetization tab on your YouTube channel and you can connect the to apply to have the monetization and then they pretty much I think accept you right away. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. They did on my new channel, but I don't know if that's because I was already an established partner on my other channels. And then you just connect your AdSense and it pretty much connects straight away. There may be a day or two kind of holding time period there, but for most intents and purposes, it just connects straight away. So once you have everything connected, then you're kind of thinking, all right, well now what? So as you upload videos, you can have your default set to where monetization just automatically appears and you don't really have to worry about it doing anything with it after that point. And like I said, YouTube and AdSense, they totally take care of choosing what ads they place on your videos. And you can look at your earnings in AdSense. This is something that gets asked in YouTube Mommy Meetup a lot. In fact, I just answered it again today, so I wanted to answer it. They changed on the front page of AdSense. You used to have your earnings across the top. And about a year ago, they changed it to where it no longer shows your YouTube earnings on the front page. It just shows your blog earnings and things you have coming in from other sites. To get to your YouTube earnings, you have to go to the top tab that says performance reports. 
You're going to click on that. Go down to the sidebar where it says products and you're going to click on that. Then right in the center it's going to say hosted AdSense for content. You're going to click on that and those are going to be your YouTube numbers. So you can kind of gauge, you know, where you're at as far as your numbers are and figure out how much you're earning and that sort of thing. Um, for AdSense to be paid out, you have to make a threshold of $100 and it's a once a month payment if you've met that threshold. So if you're meeting $100 every month, you would receive that payment every month. A lot of times if you're just getting started, you have to wait to meet that $100 whether it takes you a month, two months, six months, however long that is that takes you to meet that threshold. Then once you meet that, you can receive a payout from AdSense. They no longer send checks out, they just do direct deposit, so you have to set up all of that on your own in AdSense as well. And then, so, so let's say you get established, you're getting the payout, and you know, you've got a lot of videos. I wanted to answer some questions about how much do you earn? Now this one's a little bit tricky because no one really wants to talk about this, understandably. It's like kind of awkward to talk about how much money you make. And also you're limited from talking about certain things just because of your agreement with YouTube and Google. However, I can kind of tell you some things in general and some things that I've never heard anyone say. And the first one, before I forget it, right off the top of my head, that I wanted to kind of mention, for channels that are my size, you know I have a kind of a smaller to moderate size channel. I don't have one of those real big channels. So for a real big channel, this may be different. But for a smaller channel like my size, that is making earnings every single month, but isn't necessarily getting, you know, a hundred thousand, a million views on one video at a drop. Um, my earnings really are over time, and I make more money in a month over residual views than current views. So let me explain that, because I've never heard anyone say this. And I think that this is true for most channels in my genre, and I think that this is true for most channels in my size. What that means is, so you have 500 videos that are uploaded. I think that a lot of times when people are new, they're just thinking about like making money on the video right when you're uploading it. And if you think about it, all those videos are sitting there in perpetuity. So they're just basically continuing and their people can search them. So if you, the more videos you have online, the more they can be searched and new people are finding you every single day. Maybe people are newly interested in a subject. So those older videos are getting new views every single day. So the more and more videos that you upload, you make more money if you're the size that I am. Now I think that if you were, you know, say a really big channel that uploads a video and immediately gets a million views, obviously the tables could kind of turn at that point. But for someone in my kind of size range, and you guys know the size of my channel, so we'll just leave it at that, you're making more per month off of your residual views, the views from the videos that are old and people are going back and searching, than your newer videos. And that is really what kind of gets you established and makes you start earning a more steady rate every single month. I've never heard anyone explain it like that, so maybe it doesn't make sense to anyone else but me. But when I started realizing that, you really think, oh, like this is a long-term investment. So you're investing not only in through the things that you're putting online right now, but if you have things that are highly searchable and that people are going to be interested in for a long time, it's that residual, continual view that's going to drive your earnings up and kind of give you a more steady earning and potential. On the subject of steady earnings, um, that's the one thing I always tell people. I have a couple people in my real life that are interested in YouTube and maybe getting started with a channel and I always warn them, you have to have a passion for it, you have to be having fun because there are no guarantees with YouTube. And I think you guys as viewers know that. You can have a much smaller channel that has super quality videos, wonderful thumbnails, and for some people, for some reason, people just can't find them in search. And then you have other larger channels that maybe don't put out videos as often, but they've been found. So there's no guarantees with YouTube. There's no guarantee of how much money you're going to make. There's no guarantees, you know, that you'll make money monthly and all that sorts of things. So I always tell people, first and foremost, make sure you have an interest in it and that you're going to enjoy it. And I think that really comes through on the videos as well. But then once you've established that, it may take some time to get to the point where you're earning money, you know, monthly and that sort of thing. So I'm willing to open myself up to questions on this. We can't really talk about specifically how much we earn 
So YouTube earnings for me have allowed me to purchase things for the girls. It's given us the opportunity to review things we may have not otherwise reviewed. It has paid for parts of vacations. It's provided us with a lot of opportunities and I do, from the bottom of my heart, really appreciate that. It's really nice for me to have this hobby that kind of straddles the line with like a part-time job, which I think we kind of went over in the vlogger's first video, um, but to have a hobby that where you also see that kind of financial reward as well. So that's very exciting for me and I do really appreciate it. And like I said, we can't really talk about specifics and I'm willing to answer whatever I can. If you have questions, I know it comes up a ton in YouTube Mommy Meetup. People are very curious about this and a few other topics which I'm going to try to touch on during Stay at Home Mom September. The one thing I will say is if you're ever curious about what a YouTuber makes, there is a site called Social Blade. It's socialblade.com that estimates YouTube's earnings. And what you can do is you go in and you put a person's channel in the top bar and it brings up all their stats from the past month or so. You can search back and forwards and all that sort of thing. And it gives you kind of a rough estimate range. It's actually quite large. So you kind of think, well, this doesn't really tell me anything. And then some days it reports zero just because it didn't get the numbers for that day or something. If it's someone that has steady earnings and steady uploads, that number that's zero is never usually correct. It's just, for some reason, Social Blade didn't get the information that day. Um, but for the days that do have a range, I can tell you this. If you want to guesstimate uh, just by number of subscribers, which subscribers help because more people are seeing your videos, but views are what the income is based off of. So if you have a video, say like some of my toy reviews that have been searched out by a larger audience than what my channel normally appeals to, those are kind of driving your income as well. Um, but if you look at the estimated range on Social Blade, which is quite large, you can kind of get a sense by finding the median or the middle number of that range and maybe going slightly to the high end of it because obviously I can compare it to my own numbers and that will kind of give you a good sense for the actual or estimated number. So if you are new and you're starting out and you're kind of wondering where you're going, I don't think it's wrong to have questions about this sort of thing. I mean, I just kind of muddled through it and just kind of ended up where I was. But I see that there's a lot of people in YouTube Mommy Meetup that are very driven and very focused and they're kind of, you know, wondering how to get their channel kind of pointed in the right direction. So I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing to share this information and just try to help people out however I can. So if you have any questions, let me know down below. I will try to answer what I can. And if you have any video requests for Stay at Home Mom September, because I'm definitely going to be doing some YouTube business type of videos to help out other YouTube mommies, or if you are, I like get a lot of comments, I get a lot of messages of people saying like, you wa I watched your videos and you made it seem so fun, or I enjoyed them so much, or whatever the case would be, that you inspired me to make your own videos. And that kind of, like, that makes me happy, like that I'm doing something and I'm inspiring other people to do something, not just go around and buy stuff, which is what my other channel's all about. So, it, you know, that does make me really happy and I appreciate when you guys let me know that because um, it just gives me the warm fuzzies. So, um, I do want to try to help people out as a part of Stay at Home Mom September and maybe it's Stay at Home September making YouTube videos or something like that. But I'll have a couple more business videos in addition to just general stay at home on September topics coming up. And I appreciate you watching today. Let me know if you have any questions down below or video requests. And I will see you in a video very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.